Alrighty guys, we are back uh, seeking redemption today guys on our uh, little guy that uh, got away from us. So got three rods with me today guys. I was hoping that today was going to be a nice day but it was supposed to be in the 70s and right now we're sitting at like 64, 65. So we're out here today, guys. Same pond that we got our first fish uh, stuck. It just came off. A little bit of a breeze, guys. We had a front push in last night. Small little front, guys. Very small. A few little claps of thunder and lightning. So we're going to slow it down as far as um, retrieve today, guys. So I got my underspin here with our uh, saucy swimmer on there it said goby a little bit more natural a little less flash a little bit more subtler presentation today for these fish uh, just because it's a little cooler or a little bit subtler on the presentation Not as much sun right now, guys. Overcast. There's some uh, storm clouds around us. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, not going to matter too much. I'm not... Fishing. It will matter because, like I said, these fish are the pre-frontal or post-frontal I should say so my plan is to just chuck this guy around a bit see if he's got a little bit different luck for us guys than the spinnerbait there are two guys on the other side fishing I think that's the deep side of the lake guys that's everybody at the pond I should say everybody's been on that side I didn't see anybody fishing over here the other day. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up the left side of this bank towards that, um, towards where they're hanging out, those guys, and see. I got, uh, like I said, I got three rods. got our underspin with our paddle tail brought back our spinner bait and I have our new Guggen rod guys which we are yet to use um, hoping to use it today I brought some Senkos with me so I'm gonna be uh, completely out of luck today on uh, Testing out the new rod and reel. through some grass there was a little guy he had it he was just swim with it a little bit barely had it I think he had it by the tail Switch it up, guys. We're gonna throw our spinner bait. 
hopefully uh, that bird's nest every five minutes. See little specks of the water where it's about to start raining on me, guys. I know you guys can see it. I haven't felt anything yet, but you definitely see it on the water. Stay out here as long as I can, guys. My plan was to come out early by myself. Then Angie and I are supposed to go out later today when she gets home from work. But I don't know, guys. I don't know if today's going to be the day. It's supposed to be such a nice day. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day. Wednesday's supposed to be a nice day. And then we're supposed to get some storms. And then leading into the weekend, we're supposed to get nice again. Hey, guys. Nice little neighborhood pond, guys. It's all behind houses. And you would never think. But like I said, I mean, we pulled out that four-pounder. Solid looking fish, guys. Then we had a couple of three and a halfs. Some threes. And we had tons of fish come out of here. Little dinks. Not little dinks. And a little system come through overnight. A couple of flashes of lightning, some claps of thunder. Nothing major though. And it just feels like uh, we got another little front that just passed right now. Because this morning it was a little bit warmer than what it is now. It wasn't as cloudy. It wasn't as many dark clouds. Not everybody gave up today right now. Those two guys gave up. They were on the deep end. Maybe what we'll do, guys, is uh, throw in a, a sink over real quick. That should work. All right, guys. Gold Series Guggenrod. What you know about that? It's got a Shimano uh, 3000 uh, Sedona on it. Right, real nice looking setup, guys. I mean, the Gold Series rod and, and all that. It's a, it's a nice looking setup I got here, guys. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give this uh, this setup its uh, its test. Got a number two Gamagatsu Circle Octopus. I did go to the store today, pick up my regular hooks that I normally use while drop shotting and for my wife. So yeah, so I did go to the store today. I did get uh, my regular hooks. I don't have that on here now. Guys, what we are working with here is a uh, 15 pound braid to 10 pound floral, 12 pound floral. I don't remember, to be honest with you guys. And uh, this thing casts like a dream. Oh God, the sensitivity on this is gonna be insane, guys. So smooth. As far as the rod goes, guys, there's no comparison to the other rod. The other rod's like a god $20, $30 rod that I've been using for drop shotting and whacking. It's a 6'6. Six, six. This is a uh, seven foot. I bought it to use for whacking. I didn't really buy it for drop shotting. I didn't do too much drop shotting. I could. There's a nice, that nice big clear body of water. It's 
full of smallmouth. Big smallmouth too, guys. So I could set this up with a drop shot. But I got the other one set up with the drop shot. Kind of definitely feeling like it's getting chillier, guys. Chillier and that wind is coming back. These clouds are still here. So not sure what the deal is gonna be here guys. Might have to call it today on this one spot. I was about to go to a bunch of different spots guys if it was gonna be so nice. But I don't know guys, it's cold. Probably be our last, maybe second to last cast. We're gonna bring it back all the way through here, guys. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, not a not a great day for us so far. Uh, but we're gonna try and get out later, guys. Hopefully we do. 